In this video, we are almost done. We have the homepage, we have the blog, we have the internships, we have the blog detail. We have everything done. Uh, we just need to polish final things. Uh, we want to make everything clickable, have everywhere the final links. I have my girlfriend sometimes next to me in this video, so she will be sometimes appearing in the video. Uh, so yeah, so let's look at how are we going to do this. Also, this video is really uncut. So I'm really showing this to you because I think there are issues which you might find uh, once working with Webflow and once you will be building your own projects. So I think this might be helpful for everyone who will be struggling with sort of making everything clickable because that's the normal thing. Once you building portfolio, once you building some client sites, you want to have images clickable, titles clickable, and not only the buttons. We have this button. Where should this button go? To this join community, right? So we have the button. We will go to display this page and open a new tab so people won't leave the website. Then we have the same one in the menu. And again, open a new tab. Let's check the menu as well. So we have internships going to internships. We have blog going to blog and we have contact scrolling down the page. Then we have the button that's working. Let's go to become member. This should be linking again to the group. Find internships, going to internships. Uh, then we have more on our Facebook. That's again the group, right? That's a different one. So we have the Facebook page. Again, open a new tab. Then we have the Instagram. Open a new tab. Read all the stories. Should be linking to blog. These are linking to a current blog post. Awesome. And then these should be linking to the collection that's very true so let's also check the connect collection at the end so this one should be linking to hello before you shine and that's gonna be mail to linkedin so let's do this all over again before you shine about mm -hmm. uh, doo -doo -doo. Open a new tab. Uh, we have Facebook again. Open a new tab. And then we have Instagram. Open a new tab. Great. And we have the CTA. I almost forget it. And it is. So we have this one. Wait, the logo. Is the logo working? And it is, we will go to internships. I called this one internship submissions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check if this one working too. Yes. Since it's symbol, it's working across all the symbols. Then we have a blog and we have only links here so far linking to the current blog post. That's great. I'll link the, the title and the image as the next step. And then we have the blog post. And there are literally no links. Read all stories. Read all stories. That's not linking anywhere, which should be working now. So let's put it to blog. And that's about that. So we have everything nicely linked together. We are done with the linking. Now let's do alt descriptions of the of the images. So we have the hero image. We will call this one a startup people people sitting around a table. Hero image before you we need to name all of the images so 
there are no more on home there are no more on internships let's check if there is some on a blog and there is none so that was fast so we have all the images and now let's do the clickable images on all of those sections so we want to just put this one image in a link block we want to put it inside and then great and then this link box should have the the margin of this item so it's five pixels and we can remove it from the service cover image cool service cover link block and this one again will be linking to the facebook page in a new tab that's adding some how bigger oh yeah because it wasn't block so we have this as a service covering block now we want to do the title just convert it to a link we will link it to the facebook group And since we make it as a span, we will make it as a semi-bold and no decoration. And it has already a hover state, which is great. So we have this as a service link span. So let's do the other ones as well. Oh, I forgot. There is the new feature. You can now convert this one to a link block. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. So we don't need to do it like this. We can click here and convert it to link block. And now it's 100%, 100%. And this one we will convert to link block as well, which is awesome. And we have it already. So let's link to internships. Oh, this will really help. And this one is not linking anywhere yet. So we will do not allowed. And here as well, not allowed. That seems to be good. We will though rename this one as a heading three link because we will be using it all around here. So let's go here. Let's turn this one into a link block. Then do a no decoration because we, we've seen that uh, it's adding the line below the below the label and we don't want that. Now we want to go here and use the current blog post link and then we will turn this one we will turn this one into a link we will call it heading 3 link and we will link it to a current blog post. And now both seems to be working. Great, they are just not getting the name of the of the blog post. So heading three and name of the blog post. And let's see if that's working. And it's not. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. How come it's not working?
and it also lost it already lost the span as well which is interesting okay maybe you are not allowed to link uh headlines like that so let's see if we will uh remove the text decoration here and then this one the link block will be doing the 20 and 15 because otherwise the link will be too wide heading blog post clear blog post name clear so we can remove the remove the margins and now we can link to the current blog post it will still use the this is bugging me this is bugging me it will still use the the whole thing will be clickable i don't think that's bad issue i think we can call it a feature but uh i'll take a look at this after after release i think that's fine for now heading uh log post home link wrap okay nice so we have this clickable and now the final thing which we want to do is have clickable this as well so we want to add link block here we want to again have it like this so only the title is clickable And also we've lost the hover state. So we need to make this a violet hover state. Oh, one sec, one sec. Link hover to the main violet, right. So if the H3 blog post name clear is hovered it will go to the main violet awesome and now with this one event home name exactly hover main violet bank and now that's clickable we just want to remove as well the the decoration so this one is event home link wrap and we will put this one here as well link block here event home link wrap and we will do it like this so the line is only here and now it should be getting the URL from events, even bright Facebook, even link and open in new tab. The same here, same here, get URL, even bright Facebook link, open in new tab. Works, works, works. Hover state works, hover state works, hover state works, hover state works. Now internships, internships working, blog. Now th let's do the same here. So we want to convert this to a link blog. Remove the decoration and link to a current blog post. let's see if that's working and it does so we want to go to this one as well so let's convert the images first and link to the current blog post 
Awesome. So these are already almost there. So now we want to do the title. We can here, I think, copy the same class here, which was blog post home link wrap. Let's go here. Link blog. blog post home link wrap all right but we didn't have right we don't have the hover state now which means we still need this class that's very true that's very true i didn't realize that let's put it back but we can call this one more as a blog post title yeah, well, that was the same. <laughs> so we have the hover state, we have it linked to the, we don't have it, we have it here. So the current blog post name, the current blog post, and it's working. Let's do it here again. So we want to do a link block, h3, uh, blog home link wrap or what was the name blog post home blog post home link wrap and we want to do this one as a blog post title interaction is working now let's do the link current blog post awesome this is working this is working this is working 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 great this is great and now the final thing blog post title so this one is already clickable we have it straight to blog and then we want to do the same thing here uh convert to link blog convert to uh, link to a current blog post and then we want to do a link blog here h3 heading 3 and blog post title and this one is a blog post home link wrap and it's working and we want to link obviously the current blog post so Dominic Adel, my startup great places links are working great so that means everything is now linked which means other task is done Awesome, we have only two videos remaining, SEO and making the site live on web hosting and moving it from Vix. Cool, I'll see you in a second.